All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode here in House Flipper. And in today's episode, why is it not picking up volume? Well, it's picking up my voice. That's not a problem, but it's not like not picking up anything coming from the computer. So let's possibly change the sound settings. That's a bit better. Of course, it'll sound way different for you guys compared to me right now. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Anyways, uh, first of all, apologize if you hear background noise. AC is on. Second of all, apologize if my voice sounds weird. I have a very sore throat and allergies, and it's just not been fun. Second of all, I did some work off camera. Not a lot. Just enough to get this guest bathroom done. We have it very blue with a little bit of tiles on this wall and the rest of it just painted. Very simple in comparison to a lot of the builds that uh, a lot of the decorations that I do have built I I have built before <laughs> but it is done. Um, I have a uh, very limited time basically for this episode because I have only one day to record 10 episodes of different games so I, I'm a little not frantic I, I think I have enough time, but I'm still a little like, ugh, gotta get it done. But in this episode, because of that, we're gonna focus on these two right here, putting my garden in order. Sadly, my business trip takes longer than I expected. I should be back home by the end of the week. I just need some rest when I get back, and I think the mess of my garden makes me nervous. When I hire your company again to put my garden in order, oh, please take care of the lawn. It hasn't been mowed in ages. What do you mean again? I've helped you before? Have I really? I wanna go in your house. Did I decorate your house before? Oh, it's this person. Yeah, this was like one of the very first missions. When they needed us just to clean up their house a little bit. Huh. What a throwback. Wow. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah. So what do we have to do? We need to mow the lawn and remove weeds. That is not hard at all. Um, thank God I can see where the weeds are, possibly. Actually... I should just mow because as I mow, I can get rid of weeds, I believe, as long as I hit them just right. Let's do this. There we go. Get over there a bit. This might take a little bit of time, though. They do have somewhat of a big yard. So I guess some weeds are... Oh, no, I did get those weeds. Okay. So, yeah, I definitely mowing is the best option to get rid of weeds at the same time. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank God I have the biggest mower here. While I'm mowing this lawn, y'all should consider subscribing and like, yeah, that would help a lot because I've been trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of June and the end of June is this coming Sunday. Actually, no. Oh my God. You're seeing this the week after. I just realized I'm ahead by a week. Oh my God. By the end of June. So I don't know what I'm going to have by the end of June, but the end of June was yesterday. It's the first day of July when you're seeing this, so uh, hopefully I've hit 500, but who knows? Anyways, y'all should still consider subscribing because I've been trying to hit 1,000 this year. I, just as a little recap for those new to the channel here, I have been doing YouTube since 2016, uh, Christmas 2016, so basically 2017 for a full year. And I've loved it ever since. I've done a lot. My channel's come a long way in terms of quality and in terms of gameplay and how comfortable I am behind it. Uh, just recording my own voice, honestly. I used to be so scared to even talk that I would hardly get anything done and all I would do is time lapses, which I still do sometimes, but it's not as heavy as it used to be. Um, but yeah, I, I've just grown a lot and I still... I extremely love it, even though I haven't grown much. I mean, come on, it's been two years. I have been on YouTube for two years, and I don't even have, at least as of this recording, 500 subscribers. It's a little sad, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is, and I'm not too worried about that because this isn't, this is just a fun hobby for me. You know, like I have a job, I'm fine with that. Um, it's not my dream job, obviously, but it, pays the bills and it's not terrible compared to other jobs I've had in the past and you know this is just a good outlet for me to relax kind of outside of work and have fun and at the same time I feel like I'm actually doing something a bit more with my life than just playing video games forever because when you play games let's be honest when you play games by yourself in your room you just kind of like get into it and then after a few hours you're like wow what have I done I've I've done nothing for a few hours basically just sat here and stared at the screen and it can kind of be a little 
saddening sometimes. <laughs> um, and I've used to feel that a lot, but now that I actually have like a, like basically a purpose for the games, like I record it, I talk, I it helps me do my own little therapy sessions basically, and then I post it live on for the internet to see basically and hopefully to provide some type of entertainment or something or maybe just relaxing for other people you know it's it's very for me it gives it more purpose so i think i've honestly if i wasn't on youtube i probably wouldn't be playing video games nearly as much as i am because i would have probably been like well this is just useless i should focus on my career or something um so yeah, this is just a really good outlet, which is why I am on YouTube still, even though I have had, like, when you look at it, like, no growth in comparison. And I'm not sure why I do my research and stuff for, you know, tags and things like that. And thumbnails aren't the best, but they're better than they were before, you know. It's just, honestly, I try not to think about why, the, the why, I try not to think about the why too much. Because I don't know, honestly. I don't think any of us knows, and the people who do get big on YouTube, well, good for them. Something worked, and I don't know what, and I don't think they know what either. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of, uh, wow, this turned into a random therapy session real quick over here. Uh, just where my head's at with this whole thing, that's why I'm so thankful for you guys even enjoying this. You help, honestly, give my hobbies a purpose compared to having them be purposeless, and that is something I will always be grateful for, because then I don't just feel like an even bigger failure in life, you know? And I'm sure everyone feels that way about something, but especially when it comes to, like, what your hobbies are, if you don't... See, a lot of people think if you don't make money off of your hobbies, then what's the point of having them? Or, like, if your hobbies aren't your job, what's the point of having them? They're not helping you progress in any way. But sometimes you just need hobbies to actually just help you relax. Honestly, you just need to relax. And that's what this is, even though, you know, technically I haven't done much with it. And yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And please subscribe. Please subscribe. That'd be great. And I'm going to finish mowing. Actually, the salon is almost done. Never mind. I was about to stop recording and just finish the salon. But I might as well do it on camera because I'm almost there. And I think most of the weeds are gone too. Oh yeah, I could already turn in this entire mission. Da -da 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 -da. There's a little bit left here. There we go. 100% complete. That's what I like to hear. Ding ding. What was that weird noise? What was that noise? I'm confused. Well, regardless of that weird noise, let's go ahead and get started on this next mission. Oh, big yawn. Hello, this is long. This is really long, actually. One little thing to complete my part of heaven. I hope I guessed your gender right. Hello, darling. <laughs> because on your business card, I couldn't find your name. It's Iandis, which is pretty, honestly, gender neutral, possibly. Um, company name only. I am in love with my little, cute, charming English garden. I can spend all my time every single moment here. Oh, just perfect, my garden is, darling. I love all the plants that harvest here, and these plants feel my love, and they grow up to be big and strong. There's only a single little thing that is not perfect, and it's a pergola. To be precise, it's the lack of a pergola, and that's my problem. I need a pergola. Wow, that was a long, long description just to say I need a pergola. Real lady like me is not supposed to take heavy, dirty hammer in her delicate hands. A lady like me cannot let her skin touch rusted spikes and that can cause a deadly wound or scratch the sensitive skin and leave a cruel scar. What the heck is this lady? Oh, even when I'm writing to you, I feel like I'm going to pass out. What? What? Oh, you thought I'm a guy. I didn't even notice. I thought darling meant, like, girl, because I would call a girl darling, not a guy a darling. I don't know. I need a strong, masculine, gallant man like you to protect my sensitive skin from this terrible fate. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm a lady. And I don't do anything. I just click. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is huge. Huge. Okay, where am I gonna go? Can I go in your house? I want to see what kind of crazy person you are. Those look like trash cans with plants in them. Okay. Ah, that was weird. I can open your windows. Ma'am, I opened your windows. I like these stepping stones, though. They're quite nice. Uh, round gazebo with dome, cast iron garden, and minnow. Anything else I'm supposed to do, or is that just it? Is this supposed to be a pond? This is a very mossy covered pond. That's kind of gross. Oh, this is pretty. How did she make any of this if she can't touch anything? 
Did she just hire people all the time? I want to sell that because that looks like a terrible pond. So it's just this spot then. Okay, a round gazebo with dome. Hello. Fez's axe. Visible moles. 80% faster. Let's do visible moles. Uh, back to store. Search for round gazebo. You know, she said pergola, not a gazebo. She wants that one? That one looks better. Cause it, well, I guess it doesn't look better, but it's... This doesn't change any colors. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm stuck on stuff. I am really stuck on stuff. Why am I stuck? I did something. I did something really bad. The keyboard is not working. I can't go forward. I don't know what just happened. That, that gazebo is really messed up. I can only use the bottom and right key. Oh my god! It's because I'm not even using the right keys. <sighs> oh, I'm so smart! Why isn't this going on the floor, though? I want the entrance to be, like, here. Let's go... there? Why is this floating? Why? Oh, now it's not floating. I'm so confused by this. And it would not be this easy to do, either. Well, that was nice. Place cast iron garden table. Why do you want a cast iron? Cast iron garden table. Why? And then cast iron chairs. But why? That's going to be so hot in the summer. You said dolly? Or did you say minnow? Dolly. Why don't you want to keep them all minnow? I don't know. I thought I said buy many. Uh, almost. There you go. There, you happy lady? You crazy lady? Crazy lady calling me darling and uh, can't guess my gender. She can't guess my gender right. How dare she? It's ma'am. <laughs> oh, please forgive me for that. A playground instead of a parking lot. We'll do that in the next one because I'm out of time. Like I said, I, I'm kind of pressed for time on this one. Thank you guys for watching, though. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment if you have any like to comment. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye, guys.